In this tutorial, you will be taught how to work with batches. Batches are used to show the students their success rate when having played a certain question series. We can add these batches to elements by editing the map where we would like to use this function. So first we should add a batch system and we do this by clicking on the section that says batches. And then we press on add batch system. So first we have to give it a name and then we have to add entities and an entity is basically just a single batch within the system. So I will make use of five stars that distinguishes the success rate in steps of 20%. So the first entity is for the batch indicating that the student has obtained a success rate of at least 20%. And the image that we attach to it is what the students get to see. So we'll do the same thing for 40, 60, 80, and 100% success rate. And if we did this, we can add the batch system. Only adding the system is not enough because we haven't specified yet which elements will make use of this system. So this is what happens if we play a question series and we answer one out of five questions correct. No star indicating our 20% success rate appears. Now we have to assign the elements that will make use of this system. These are all the elements that contain a question series, which is only one in this case. To do so, we press on the copy to elements button. Then we have to select the element that will make use of this system. And we have to select the batches that we would like to make use of. So now if we add this, the batches will appear. Here you can see that the batches are added, but we can also specify the exact location where they will be displayed instead of the default one by adding a batch box. I'll put it on the right top corner of the element. And I will change the width and the height a bit so I have a nice square. And now if we open up the map again, you will see that the batches will appear. So we got the 20% success rate, but if we obtain a higher success rate, the batch will change. So I play quickly again, answer three questions correct, and we should get the 60% batch. And as you can see, this is the case. The same thing should go for 100% as well. So after playing and having all questions correct, this batch did appear. To summarize, the batches are a nice way for the students to show their progress inside the learning path. And they are also handy uh, to indicate the students whether they have unlocked a threshold, as is explained before in the how to add a map tutorial. This is all you need to know on batches. I would like to thank you for your attention and see you next time.